I'm at the largest infectious disease conference in the US and the CDC isn't here, not because they don't want to be, but because they're not allowed to be. This conference, ID Week, is being held in Atlanta, literally right next door to CDC. Normally you would find dozens of CDC scientists roaming and presenting their research and their case studies that you can't find anywhere else. But because of government shutdowns, federal scientists can't travel, they can't present their research, they can't present their case studies and share their findings. So I want to read some of the titles that the CDC scientists were going to present or were in involved in and would have been here and available for questions. There was a report of a national investigation of adverse outcomes including deaths from an antibiotic last year. There was a report talking about an increase of rheumatic fever in Alaska. A report on how there were fewer babies hospitalized from RSV last season. A study looking at flu vaccine for pregnant women and the outcomes of their babies. A multi-year study on deaths with, uh, from kids with COVID-19 and a study on the use of antivirals for flu in multi-center hospital study. Now myself and many other of the attendees here would have attended these presentations, learned so much, and some of the clinicians might actually change their practice or have an increase of knowledge to actually affect patient outcomes. And because they're not allowed to be here during a government shutdown and are furloughed, we won't see any of this data presented. So thank you to those CDC scientists who are doing this hard work, and hopefully we can see this data and see these studies soon.